Hello and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carl and Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Yeah, we're gonna break some boxes right on open and then rip them all apart and then give you the cards. I did the thing. I learned from the best. That's you. That's me, thanks! As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now, as ever, it is time for the Wheel of Energy! Oh man, we've had uh, only two types this season, right? Eyeball, rocket pummeling. We have a grass. We knew we had a grass in there. Let's see Let's what's see. it gonna be today. Da, 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 today's random type advantage is dark! Whoa! Whoa, that's kind of a rare one because it's only on the wheel once, but it does tie in nicely with one of today's randomly chosen common chase cards. Today they will be a Bramblegast, Dieno, and Shinx. We had Shinx last week, but it's different Shinx this time. Different Shinx, because there are in fact two. There are dose. But getting those two different Shinx do not qualify for the critical hit. They it do does need not. to be the same. same. Shinx, yes. which I can totally see happening today. Yeah. I'm, I feel like I'm gonna call my shot oh my right gosh. now. Double Shinx. Double Shinx. By the way, will we change the skateboards for this one? Oh. Do we have uh, a dark? We do, we absolutely can put Umbreon in the middle. Umbreon, oh yeah, I actually do like Umbreon. Umbreon's pretty cool. One of the coolest and rarest cards from like the modern sets is gonna be the Moon Umbreon from the Evolving Sky set. Which like I almost bought when it was like three hundred dollars, and since then it's gone up to like seven hundred dollars. And if it's graded, it's like a PSA ten. It's worth like a thousand dollars. So it's really just kind of a wild card, but you know, someday, well, someday we'll get one. Single season evolving skies. <laughs> Could okay. be a thing. I Maybe. feel like we should do it. I would be down for it. Ready to brock a box? I'm ready to brock a box here. Beautiful. Nice. Who's up first? Our first contestant today is gonna be Jacob C, who I wanna say is a uh, rookie, Ben? A rookie right out of the gate. Well, that's very exciting. All I believe right. we have four rookies in today's challenge. Uh-oh. So as ever, they are competing for that beloved Olive Garden gift card. All right, well, let's see if uh, Jacob can make a splash with his debut into the game. And we'll see, we got the eyeball energy right off the top there. We got the Tarantula, the Charcadet, mm -hmm. the Murkrow, the Mistress. Oh, the Murkrow scores. Oh, the Murkrow does score. Good save, the Giacomo, the Talonflame, the Heracross, the Mistress does not oh, score. The oh, the Meryl. Oh, that's a nice looking card. Goodness. That is, that is an absolute beautiful Bam, and, and the, the Wiggly Tough, tough so. Bam. So I think the Meryl is where the points are gonna come from. Number 204 if on anywhere. Set. Let's see if it does anything special for us. Goodness gracious, there's a lot of cards in this set. 279 in total, number 204. The Merrill is gonna be worth $7.12. We'll Whoa. round to eight. Eight, nine, 10 points. 10 points for our rookie right that out of the gate. Solid for Jacob C's first pack ever, getting 10 points. Oh my gosh, that Merrill's worth a lot more than some of even like the, the base EX cards. Who would have thought? So yeah, great start to the day. Great Man. first pack. Congratulations Man. to the rookie. Love a good first pack. Makes you feel like the whole box is gonna be, is gonna be special. Let's see though if uh, EK Sco uh, <laughs> nailed it can come in with uh, their second pack of the season. This is the first round of second pack, so people are starting to uh, get more points built up for the season. Although EK Sco only has one point and seven cents on the season, so actually in a really good spot for last place if they can continue the. Um, 
one point trend. Yes, yeah, so we'll see we'll see how they do. If we're looking for anything in particular, especially for like that that like last place ETB, you'd probably be aiming for for just literally nothing here. So there is the water. And so yeah, dark is probably a good type for EK Skill to have pulled today for the type advantage, because there's not a ton of dark cards in this set. This is true, this is true, yeah. So not gonna accidentally uh, scrape um, a, a rogue point just on the common cards here. Toxic Croak, Tandem Mouse. Oh my gosh, it is looking good. The Frigibax doesn't score. The Belooza is the oh, single point! Oh man, man. EK okay. Sko! What Look at that! An amazing play in shot. doubling down on their prior performance with a seven cent card. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Back to back weeks with seven cents? I mean, so, that's, that's last place play if I've ever seen it. That is, that's amazing. Well done. No one else I don't think is even close to that at the moment. Of course, it's still early, but we'll see. It is still early, so who do we got next? Next up is John Borg, who All is right. uh, coming in, having a, a little bit less uh, exciting performance with two points in the first round, so, so probably not even going for last place, but uh, probably just want something medium here to put them in like an eighth place or a big Steve spot, or who knows, maybe they go crazy. There we go, so we got the teardrop right off the front, we got the Palmy, the Larvitar, oh, the, the Deanna. Yeah, that's actually that's worth two, two points, right yeah. there. I got the Sandat, the Survivor, Survivor gets we'll a score. point. Pyroar, the Luxio, the Gotharita will not score, the Tinkatink -tink -tink will not score, score. and oh, the, the Weavile will actually so score twice. All on the dark card, so one, two, three, four, five. Five points, not a, well, not a bad way to score five points either, so. I know. Pretty, pretty exciting to see the, the rules coming into play there. Full type advantage points there for John Borg, nicely done. Next up we've got uh, Anthony who is coming into the day with three points. This is uh, Doe's older son, there as ever. Okay, okay, yeah. He's yep. doing some game programming. We got a whole got a whole family up there. I believe uh, headed off to um, Burlington for college. Oh, in the fall. there we go. Yeah, there we you the... go. Anthony gets the uh, dark type advantage, our first of the day, and immediately pulls the whooper to start cashing in on it. The Noibat, the Combi, the Artisan, the Tauros, the Practice Studio. Can't we get any more points out of here? The Fighting Olay. Oh. And the Garnacle. Oh, so man, man, a great start, but only gonna be four points by the end of it. Is that right? No, yeah. six. Wait, six? No, I'm sorry. One, two, times two, four. Yes. yes, yeah, there we go. I was like, how'd you get to six? Nope, nope, sorry. Four points overall is gonna bring them to seven on the season, so not too bad, not too bad. Not you know. a bad play for Anthony. There we go. All right, next up we have zero, four, twelve. Coming in with six points on the season. There we go. You sure it's six in fact? I'm this sure, time? yeah. I'm okay. looking at what I wrote yeah. last time. It looks like the number six. Okay, okay. But it could be a four. It, well, four no, two. it could just really be it's it just the six. Okay, it's just the six. All yeah. right. Well, we got the metal energy, energy there. So the the sneasel, man. Maybe we were wrong about the dark. I know. They got the Rita, the Meryl, the Wingull, the Kilowattril, the Azumarill, mm -hmm. the Vespaquin, well, the, the Murkrow will score. The yeah. Rapskill will also score because hey. it's a rare card. And the Spirit and the Tomb. Spirit Tomb. Man, everyone's favorite Mew Killer. There we go. So we got one, two, three, four, just four like points. that. So four points, not to be confused with the number six. So 10 on the season for zero for 12 thus far. Puts them in a pretty solid uh, Big Steve contention spot, you'd think. You, yeah. If you will recall, is sitting at 13 points. Currently held by Kenz or Kenzie, depending yeah. on your pronunciation of K-E-N-Z. Yeah, I would like to say Kenzie. Kenzie. Myself. All right, next up we have Alicia May, AKA Spider-Man. I've heard of that guy. Yeah, yeah. Shares a birthday with Peter Parker, if yeah. I do recall. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Aunt May, and we know it's your secret. There. It's Alicia all there. May. I'm also an Uncle Ben, so I can sort of relate. We get it, we get it. A lot of that going around. Here, throw that back there. Bam, let's see. Can Spider-Man with the raucous pummeling energy do put up any points for us? Watcher, the shrewd old will score. The Glimmit, the Orangaroo, the Electro, the Vigoroth, the Tinka Tink does not score, the Palmy does not, and the Luxray, Luxray does. Man. So just two points for Spider Man there, aka Alicia May, up to five points on the season. There you go. Packs coming your way. There we go. All right. What do we got next? Chris K. Chris K. Chris K. With two points coming into the day, looking for uh, looking for a big showing. I suspect. Yeah. None of our none of our like leaders have hit the board yet. No one's come into the day with like double digits in their points yet. Right. 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 But we do have quite a many who are in that position. We got the dark tier drop. Oh, so here we go. Another. Let's see. Let's see something big. Looking Let's for see a play it. at some of those. We have the Tarantula, the Murkrow is back. The mischievous, the, the Sneasel. Score the limited the bumper. The bumper. 
Earlier. The Flamigo, the Orangaroo, the, 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 the Mushroom, the Will, and the Cloud. Oh wow. my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, so whoa. five scoring cards total. I think I was wrong about the dark type. There seems to be like a lot. There seems to be so more than see. we would have expected. One, two, three, four points off just dark. Okay, so the Clavel is only worth a dollar fifty-five. Not as much as you might expect so, for a full art yeah, trainer. So two, three, four, five, six times two is twelve points. Twelve points. There we go. Man, I'm just gonna put them at fourteen on the season, which actually, well, it puts them right in front of Big Steve at the moment. But of course, they'll open another pack. So. Well, they have the opportunity at least to. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So that that does probably end up shifting you out. But who's to say you don't aim for that quality eighth place award? You know? Exactly. I mean, who doesn't mind a good quality eighth place? Bam, and that's our first like a uh, full art card of the day as well with the Clavel. So that's kind of exciting. All right, next up we have Jess. Jess! Jess comes in with just two points. They're a hobby aquarist and a road cyclist. There we go. Those are some Those are some hobbies that I can somewhat relate to. I know, right? Although I think uh, I've I, this is the longest stretch since I was like 12 that I haven't had an aquarium in my home. I don't have a spot for one anymore. Wow. You yeah. know, sometimes having kids will do that. It, uh, yeah, it took they up take up a my, lot of space. They seem small. That's right, yeah. But they take up much space. We have Florigato, Sprigatito, Tandem House, Quaxwell, Delivery Drone, Sprigatito. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, two it, there are two Sprigatitos. But also the Florigato And in the there. Florigato, but it is not the Critical Hit because it's not the same Sprigatito. It's the Paldean Tauros and then the Wigglytuff. The Tauros does not score. So we're just going to have that Wigglytuff uh, for the day. I'm pretty sure that's just one point. It is just one point, eight yep, cents if we want to go ahead write and write it down. We'll mark it because uh, you're at three points total. So, you know, if things get wonky at the bottom of the leaderboard, maybe it's a four point finish or that, something. That's right. EKSCO could still pick up a two point pack. Exactly. And, and then we have to go to those. those those numbers and see what's going on. So not the worst place to be in. Indeed. Next up is Beck Squad. Beck Squad, am I up or you up? I think you're up. I'll yeah. take it. Yeah. Hobbies are playing soccer, running, playing games, and now collecting Pokemon cards. And being our rivals with the one and only Becky Borst. That's right, Becky Borst and Beck Squad, huge rivals. They've been clashing for, you know, months at this point. Probably. Yeah. All right, so we got the raucous pummeling energy right at the top there. We got the Pineco, the Tinka Tink, the Mankey, the Super Rob, the Ice Cube, Ooh, the, the Iono Iono scores. That'll be worth two. The Knackle stack, the Noibat does not score, the Mismagus does not score, and the, the Garnackle. Garnackle. Boy, Garnackle's all over the place today, but so just Three points for um, Beck Squad. Beck Squad, there we go. Bam. All right, let's Not see. Not a we... Yeah, there you go. We got the Iono. That's, that's a competitive card. It is. There's it something is. You to definitely do with that. Use yeah. that. I've opened, we've opened like full boxes and gotten just a single Iono in there, so. You never know. It's harder to pull than you'd think. Next up is ABBA. ABBA, like the band? Like the band, the yeah. The literal band. The literal band ABBA. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dancing Queen, let's go. They say from Montana. Sure, maybe now. All right. And that's a great place to retire. Montana needs a queen too. They need a queen, exactly. I've always thought it was uh, intended to be a monarchy out there. That's what it seems like. That's what it seems like. We got the eyeball energy eyeball right energy. on the top. Bramblin, not the Bramble Gas. The Shinx does score though. That's our first chase card the right there. The Moshif will score. The Pink Kirchen doesn't. The Grafai Eye does. The Boss's Order <gasps> does. Oh! And a gold energy oh! and a full Argeocoma. What a pack! Oh, oh my, my goodness! Gosh. Wow, this is akin to what happened earlier uh, in the season when we hit the the critical hit and off is, the energies. But yes, we, and the 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 teardrop there is the more valuable of the two. There are two percent. Oh the, man! Last time we had the grass. This time we have the water. Woo! That one is going to be worth ten dollars and eleven cents. So eleven that's points. Eleven points. Okay. The, yeah. And then the uh, number two fifty two is the Giacomo is going to be worth $1.92, so two points. So that's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 points. Wow, Jeez. not a bad chance. It's gonna put you in about eighth place. Yeah, there you go. That's a current eighth place overall. Yeah, well, it's gonna be, well, that's that's 17 plus their four from the first pack, so they're actually at oh, 21. Wow. So they're actually in third place third overall. Third place overall. So, okay, but it's that's actually almost better because the eighth place is liable to move. Yes. And this gives you room to like cinch, to cinch backwards. It does. So there not, we go. not a bad so place to be. Yeah. Grab your uh, this is, nice this, cards here. We'll sleeve them up for you. Sometimes I feel like this show is a good lesson in spin. It's like, how can everything be a positive outcome? Everything's a positive outcome. Unless you've only got like two points. 
In which case, it's kind of like, case, well, it's, hard, it's really hard to make something good out of that. You know? Maybe just better luck next time. Your luck's bound to turn. Exactly. <laughs> next up is Abby. Not to be confused with Abba. Oh, yes. Uh, Abby right. only has one point as well. So maybe they're also hoping for like another single point pack here to compete with EK Sco for last place. They did have nine cents on theirs. They though, did, so whereas EK Sco really... just had the seven. There so. is that jump pluff, which is worth a single five cents. So that that's is basically to... what they need. Ooh. Wouldn't that be amazing? if they pulled the jump bluff. Oh my gosh, I put my, my energy over there for some reason. That is just the big old my bad. Yeah, there you go. So we got the lightning bolt energy. We got the Gothida, the, the Moss Shift score, yeah. the Wingull, the Pineco, the Paldean Tauros, the Skip Loom, the Dendra, the Jet Energy will not score. The Florigato will not score. Oh, oh. with the Wo Chien. Wo Chien. There we go. Will score number 27 on the set, which means it's a front pager, not always the most competitive. It's going to be 80 cents. Oh, a single so just point. so wow. That's so kind of a bummer. Two, two points. points there. Boy, as we said. But you know what? You did get the full art card. You get the full art card. And as ever, spin. Spin is indeed. I actually played against the Wo Chien deck uh, just this past weekend. You can combine it with Fortress EX. So just like flood the board with grass energy. And then uh, I can hit pretty hard over and over and over again. But uh, you do have to give up two prizes to set up the fortress. So there's that. There is that. I'm sure everyone followed it. You got it. Did You're you good. beat that deck? I did win. Yeah. Nice. So there is that. So there is that. Yeah. Luke, you, you could at the very least it's lose still to good. this guy. You could, still, you could lose to me. Oh man, all right, next up we have Margo. Oh man, Margo who has been known to put up points. I mean, Ben, look at this. Her first season, 37 points off one pack. That was in Crown Zenith. Last season was in the lead for a while, had 81 points, and then their first pack this season, they've already got 10. Goodness gracious, so Mar Margo. Margo's got the hot hands. They know how to put up some points. They do, this is a, this is a very consistent high point player. Their collection is growing like crazy. Bam, metal energy right here. Let's see what Margo has for us. The Magnemite, the Knackle, the Nimble, the, the Shinx. Sh no, it's not the right Shinx. Shinx. Yep. The Fragiraffe. Fra 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 Fragiraffe. 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 Whatever. It's the worst name ever. <laughs> Pacifian Jingle. Oh, the Tinkatuff! Yes! Look oh. at that. Margo, what are you doing? What is the sauce? Tell us your secrets. There's a double pack. How does she do it? Oh my god. Yeah, so, so the number Neuvern and the Tinkatuff, man. Tinkatuff, I bet it's worth something because the Tinkaton line is like everyone's favorite from this generation. Let's see, number 153, the Neuvern is going to be $1.06. So that's so just two, two points, points there. right there. And then 217. I'll top over. It's me nine dollars and fourteen wow. cents. So that's ten there, two there for twelve points total for Margo. Up to twenty-two on the season. That's good enough for third place. Very impressive, Margo. I don't know. Very impressive. I don't know how you do it. That this is, is amazing. And honestly, this Tinker Top is a fun card. The, in Margo's history, she has opened one, two, three, four, five, six packs on the show. Two of them have been worth two points, and the rest of them have all been worth over 10. Yeah, so a 37, a 77, a 10, and a 12. You so must have the highest average packs per open in the game. We need be. someone to run the data. It That's, must be. What an anomaly. But so, you know, it's like one of these games where you know someone has to be that person. It's true. Someone it's true. has to have the highest average, and I think it's Margo. So, good job. Well done. Well done. All right, next up is Moss Twig, who is a extremely consistent player. They've gone four, four, three, four in their last four packs, so I think it's you. Okay, let's do it. Let's see, are they gonna get another another four points here? <clears throat> We're about to find out. Oh man. Apparently Moss Twig can crack his ear like you'd crack your knuckles. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, this says little PS from Cad and Ethan. They say they hate that. Oh no. Yeah, that's what it says. That's hilarious. Okay, so we got the Love Disc, the Snover, the Fletchling, the Voltorb, the Calamitous Snowy Mountain, the Paldean Tauros, the Practice Studio, the Rookedy, and the Dendro. Oh, the wow, there we go. That one. Oh my gosh, we're pulling some stuff this today. This is a box. It is a box indeed. So let's check the end of the Earthworm to, to finish it off. This is number 266. This this looks more like an illustrator art trainer too, if I had to say. So it's probably got some, some it, it chunk on it. It is a special illustrator rare, yeah. and it, it does have some chunk on it at eighteen dollars eleven cents. It's a nineteen, 19 point point points. Pack. Yeah, this so is 20. a twenty point pack. Goodness oh my gracious, gosh. moss twig. Boy, when we were going through this pack, I was like, boy, what if? We, see, look how Margo dodged a bad pack here, and then no, you know what? Margo was destined for a good pack either way. Either way, either way. That's so impressive, and the Dendra again. 
again, I mean, we're getting some just some really cool looking cards. I feel like I, I feel like a broken record, but it's just because it's true. It is. That's an awesome one. I love the illustrator arts. I love what they're doing over there at Pokemon of this particular game. All right, next up we have Dockery. Dockery. Dockery, who started out the season with eight points. Let's see. Oh, Dockery is, uh, they give out the Pokemon cards to trick-or-treaters. I saw some of the um, trick-or-treat Pokemon cards at Walmart the other day. Oh, did you? Is that, are they already putting out? I mean, it's like- it's No, like I think they were from last year. Oh! And I was like, should we get these? That like, and just fun. save them? I didn't, but now I feel like I should have. I feel like you should have too. I, I don't know, know what I was I thinking. gave those out last year too, and they were so popular. Right? It was adorable to see the kids be so excited. They're definitely gonna do it again. Oh, definitely. Yeah, that's yeah. like, a, that's gotta be an annual thing. The Wooper, the Will Score, the Qfar, the Satitan, the Faulkner, the D Dunsparce, the Phalanx, the Corvus Squire, and the Abomas, though. So just a two point pack after all of the excitement. That's gonna bring Dockery to 10 on the season, though. Great spot to be for uh, Big Steve uh, purposes. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh oh, it's Kyla, who is our next rookie of the day contender. They are going up against so far Jacob C, who had 10 points earlier in the round. Let's see if they can uh, beat 10 for the coveted Olive Garden gift card. Let's see. I mean, it seems like it seems difficult, but this box seems to be delivering. So, I mean, 10 would normally seem pretty competitive. For I know. Rookie. Yeah. Normally, if I, someone got 10, I'd say that's it. There's right. no way they're getting beat, but right. I'd have no idea anymore. We got the Teardrop, we got the Meryl, the Mankey, the Delibird, the Super Rod, the Palosan, the Raichu, the Gothitelle, mm -hmm. the Delivery Drone will not score, the Slack Off will not score. Oh, oh the, the Tyranitar is two points. Let's check number. Oh, is it two points? Well, it's one for the Tiger oh, Vantage right, and one right, for the right. rare card. Okay, yeah, so yeah, let's see. I don't know if it's even worth right now. 12 cents for that T-Tar. 12 T -tar. cents for the T-Tar. I mean, we'll write it down just there for the sake of it since you looked it up. There we go. Well, Sweet either way, Tyranitar, still a cool card. Always a cool card. One of my all-time favorite cards is the Sleeping T-Tar from... There's a special illustrator uh, T-Tar in this set, though, that is like... Awesome. That is worth some points. Chef's so if kiss. someone else can pull the T-Tar, that would be epic. Also, someone also pulled the magic card. Maybe this is the box. We oh. promised it last week, but it obviously it wasn't there. Man, who's to say? Who's to say? On the note of pulling the best cards in the set, though, you guys, let me just say this past weekend was pre-release for Obsidian Flames, the set that comes out after this. And guess who pulled the Illustrator Art Charizard EX? Oh my gosh, it was like- You did the thing. I did the thing, I you couldn't believe it. Pull Big Steve. Pull, pull a Big Steve, you know why? Because Steven wasn't there. There you what? go, right, he yeah. Didn't he didn't go to the you tournament. You know he would have put hands I on know, that box. I know he would have. And as I was there, one of my other buddies pulled the gold version of the card, which is actually not as valuable. And I was like, that's it. Someone's already pulled the high dollar, the high dollar card. And then I got home, couldn't believe it. That's I'm amazing. still happy about it, honestly. You there we go. Be. The Rookity, the Pikachu, the Slack Off. This has been in the last three packs. The Watrol, the Reversal Energy, the Therapeutic Energy, Toxicroak. We don't know. Weavile. Oh, uh oh. Score. Oh, we Weavile will score. And we have a critical hit a on critical Pikachu. Hit. Boom. And the Rookity. Oh, no, the Rabska. Sorry. Man, I can. I am all over this one. So, weirdly, it's just, what, a uh, two times two? It's a four point pack. Just a four point pack. We got the critical go. hit. I mean, yeah, it's always exciting to see that happen. It is. And on a Pikachu, nonetheless. On a Pikachu. Pikachu. Yeah, it does open up so many uh, brand new possibilities for the game. Although this was probably not the not the most exciting use of it. We have happened. seen it hit pretty big. We have, we yeah. have indeed, no doubt. All right, next up we have Anselman. Anselman. All right, Anselman. They have four points on the season. They own three shiny Paris and two shiny Paris X and Legends Arceus. 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 I don't. Man, I go. It's like it's become one of those things where I know. I know the correct answer, and I know it's one of them, and I just interchange them. Is it like EK Sco? It's like EK Sco. Yeah. EK yeah. Sco? Yes. Arceus. It's Arceus. Arceus. Okay. Okay. We got the Clavel, the yeah. Tropius, the Dun. The, just the regular just Dunsparce, Dunsparce. Hop Hip, the Florigato, the Quaxwell, the Delivery Drone, the Tropius will not score, the Bravery Charm will not score, and the Slack King. Well, wow, just, just a, a single, single point, point card there. I guess worth looking it up, although they've already got four points on the season, so yes. not looking like some last place. Not so much. It Magic is worth there. seven cents, just, seven for, cents. just for whatever that's worth. Just to for us. posterity. Yeah. Now we know. Now we've looked. There we go. So just a little bit of a little bit of a disappointing pack, but it's headed your way either way. So right. enjoy. Exactly. Next up. We have Big Jake. Big Jake. Big Jake coming into the day with four points. They're a photographer and do AV work for their church. So oh, nice. Sounds like a busy Sunday every Sunday, probably. Yeah. Bam, all right. 
Ooh, All type right. advantage. All Here right. we go. The dark teardrop. Let's go. Crow Galaxy, something big. The Rookity, the Magnemite, the Phalanx, the Passimian, the Corviknight, the, the Survivor Scores, yep. the Heracross does not, the Giacomo does not, and the, the Sableye. That's going to be worth two points. So Six point pack. Yeah, one, two, three times two is six. There we go. All right, well, you got the type advantage. You hit some dark cards in there. Ah, so close. So close to something crazy. Who we got next? Next up, we've got Jupiter Fox. Jupiter Fox. Jupiter Sorry. Fox has Jupiter. three points coming in. There are our, our, our resident professional face painter and balloon artist. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Blue, I mean, you can't underestimate the value of a good balloon artist. It just brings joy to everyone's day. It does. All right, so we've got the Fireball Energy right off the top there. We've got the Love Disc, the Snova, the Fletching, the Voltorb, the Arctbacks, the Giacomo, the Talonflame, Damn. the Delibird will not score, the Glamora will, will score, as well as the Luxray. Luxray. Wow, so again, so just, just two points there for Jupiter Fox, bringing them to five on the season. Congrats to Jupiter Fox, enjoy that. Indeed, better luck next time. Next up we have Goddess Princess. Ooh. Boy, that sound important. That does sound very important. All right, they've got four points on the season thus far. And four points last season, so about to have a new personal record. I know, right? If they can always match their season total, they'll just be on an upward trajectory there. That would be very exciting, especially for us. We think it's open some really cool packs. I know, right? Coco. We have not had very many of the uh, chase cards at all today. The Bramblen, the Q-Funt, the Krogunk, the Crocolore, Pepler, Fletchinder, Vigoroth, Sneasel Ooh. scores, and Backscalibur scores. Very good competitive card, but only worth one point in this game, so just two points on the two pack. Two points overall. Yeah, that Backscalibur I was just reading was, I think we talked about this last week as well. It's like one of the most uh, purchased cards from this set right now, I think, yeah. because people are using it in play so much. Yeah, there is an illustrator art version of this card too, and I guarantee you if we pull that one, big points. Big that points. one's awesome. Faux so show. All right, next up, we've got Shadow Loop, or Shadow Lupe, as I like to say. Shadow Lupe. Shadow Lupe. They've got a uh, lot, of, they have, it says they have a lot of miscellaneous, little known knowledge about things. Hey. I think Pokemon cards is becoming one of those things. I had somebody tell me once in college, they were like, you know a lot about a bunch of different things, or you know a little bit about a lot of different things. Mm. So I big feel like- Big generalist energy. Big, big generalist energy. I've never been much of a specialist in anything. Mm. Except opening Pokemon cards. Well, I'm not, I would say you're the specialist out of the, the two of us. Oh, I, type I, advantage! Look at that, there though, is a dark Look at that! That takes skill. And then we got the Paldean Wooper, which is immediately worth two. The Noibat, the Combi, the Glimit, the Ferrath, Ferragraf. <laughs> Ferragraf! <laughs> He's gonna take us time every single time. I know. The Spidops, the Passimian, the Snover will not score, the Claffle will not score, and the Glamora. Will score. Oh my gosh, all the type advantage just, just sort of like whiffing. Like they're I coming know. up big, and you're like, ugh. And even as this one was going, I was like, oh my god, is there gonna be like a critical hit, but no, nothing. Not. So just one, two times two is four. Four points, points on the pack for Man. seven points on the season for Shadow Lupe. There we are. Just Shadow Lupe. I get Shadow it. Loop. Shadow Lupe. Yeah. Shadow Lupe. All right, next up we have Brant. Brant. Brant, who actually is uh, contending for that last place. They've got a single point, although we didn't write down the scent, which makes me think it was like a, an EX card. Could have been an EX, Could have been like a big yeah. bulky yeah. one there. It's like, well, that's gonna be, that's just gonna be irrelevant, you know? Yeah, I guess we'll see. I guess maybe they still want that one point uh, race going on here. They've got the Salad Energy, the Combi, the Jigglypuff, the Giraffe Rig. Nice, that one's easier. Tropius, Tauros, Luxio, Mabostiff will score, Quaxley will not, Energy Retrieval is not, and Mimikyu does. There we go, that's gonna be two points for Brant on the season, bringing their total to three, so they narrowly missed, just give a single point. Man, how about that? What, what, is there a face, like, is the eyes of this actually down here, and this is like penciled on, or is that the actual face? Oh, so, so actually, none of what looks like Pikachu is the Pokemon at all. It's all just wearing a disguise. The whole Pokemon itself is underneath the costume. Got it. Yeah, so got I don't it, know, it, that might it. actually be its eyes down there. Interesting, like peeking through. <laughs> like peeking through a little bit, yeah, but Kinda it's like, like uh, I know when it like when you see underneath it, it's supposed to be like very scary. Ooh. That's the lore of the card anyway. Ah. There we go. All right, next up is Icy Vanilla. Vanilla? Vanilla Icy? You know, vanilla doesn't feel like the type of thing that goes as well with ice. Like ice cream, vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Even the fact they call it ice cream seems Yeah, odd. if you just had vanilla flavored ice, that seems seems less a little like, unusual. Yeah. And we can throw that like a vanilla ice cube into your coffee in the morning. 
Okay, I, I can, see, I can that. see that. I can like see cool that. it off, cream it up. When I was at the beach, <clears throat> they had coffee, like frozen coffee as ice cubes that they would put in your in your iced coffee, which meant that as they melted, oh, as they, they melted, they didn't like dilute your drink. Oh, that's pretty so good, smart. Pretty good. The Clavel, the Duns bars, the no, I bad. The Duns bars. <laughs> that's my bad. There's one that's the Duns bars, the Heracross, the Kilowattro, the Azumarill, the Makuhita, mm. the, oh, the Shinx. Shinx. There we go. We that's saw a chase it card. And the oh, Mimikyu. Mimikyu back to back. So two points there for icy vanilla. Vanilla. Uh, <laughs> there we go. I love that artwork though. This is the same art artist who did the Mankey that I love so much, and I think I just like all their art. Is what it's coming down to. Yeah, very good. Boom. Next up is Dragon. Dragon. Dragon is up, and it is. Uh, they've got five points on the season. They work for a space agency. Oh, I know Dragon. Dragon works is in our uh, Discord. I believe so. I believe yeah. so indeed. Indeed. All right. Well, Dragon. Let's see what we can do for you. There, Sir Eyeball Energy. We've got the Citadel, the Shrewdle will score. The Jigglypuff does not. Phalanx, Vigoroth, Orangaru, Electro, the Watro, the Love Disc, and the Dedenne EX. Nice. So, there we go. Let's see if that does anything check for that you. Out for you. It looks potentially like bulk EX because I don't think it's a super competitive card. Yeah, double check. It is 61 cents. For oh, the bummer. All right, so that's just going to be two points total. But you get a fancy there. sleeved card, you know, which is always you great. Do. See, that's what they look like on the back. Really Miami. beautiful. So Both enjoy. Starters. Next up, we've got Kenzie. Kenzie. Or Kenz, depending on how you pronounce Kenzie. Currently sitting in the Big Steve Award position. Oh, man. So they're about to exit it, probably. But probably. they've got 14 points right now. Unless they somehow, which it is impossible <clears throat> to currently get zero points. It used to be possible because we had that dreaded B-star marker. Yeah. You could like go backwards. You could, but not anymore. Yeah. That was pretty tricky. You can um, net zero. We got the got the lightning bolt energy there. We got the frigid backs, the tandem mouse, the Sprigatito, the magnemite, the reversal energy, the therapeutic energy, the choice belt, the fletchling will not score, the litlio will not score, the and the spirit tube. Gets just one point. So I mean, I guess does that actually put them? You know what? Unbelievably, it, they're still in the big Steve spot. That is very impressive because currently uh, there was nobody at 15 points overall. So there was space 14, 15, 16, uh, or 14 and 15 were both spots that would have like held on to the position and that's what Ken's did. Wow, one point holds on to the position for now. Uh, well done, that was that was expertly played. Did not, did not anticipate you threading the needle like that, but you know, that's my fault. All right, next up is Crisera, who has got one point on the season, a nine cent card, so they would be hoping for maybe the jump puff here. Yeah, yep, yeah. absolutely. That would be a, a great way. We haven't seen one today, so. We have not. Bam, Rock is pummeling energy. You love to see it. We've got the Hop Hip, the Makuhita, the Pincurchin, the Pupitar, Flamigo, the Bombardier will score, though. The Wigglytuff will score. The Luminous Energy does not end. Hariyama! Hariyama! <laughs> there he is. It's actually going to be a three point pack total for Krasara there. Going to bring them to four on the season. But the great news is. Get the Hariyama. There you go. That's how we exit every episode oh, from now on. Exactly. Probably as long as we remember. Until the rest of time. Uh oh. Next up is Robot Wiz. Robot, Robot Wiz. Wiz. Robot Wiz. Robot Wiz. That's a, that sounds like a fun way to say it. Robot Wiz playing. Uh, it's our next rookie of uh, our next rookie contender for rookie of the day. They're trying to be ten points, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Is it me or you? There, I'll, I'll go for go it. Go for it. Jacob. Jacob is currently holding on with ten points. <clears throat> Uh, holding on to a very strong defense there. We haven't had anything, you know, super major drop in a few minutes, but we've had some other big pulls in today's episode, so it's always hard to know what could be left. We've got the Eyeball Energy there. We've got the Quaxley, the Charcadet, the Relor, the Tadbulb, the Vespaquin, the Ice Cube. Oh, the Iono the scores. The will get you two. The Faulkner will not score. Oh, oh the Pyroar. That's awesome. That is awesome. Oh, my God. What a beautiful, beautiful card. Oh, man, that Just is like really totally cool. Just like totally lounge in there on the right? edge of that Whatever Whoa. it is, log top rock. Tried sure. rock energy coming from the Pyroar. And the uh -huh. Hydrage will be worth two because it's also got the type advantage. You're on right, it. yeah. So number 200 on the set is going to be the Pyroar. It's going to be worth $3.40. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Not bad. Not Man, bad at all. Put up quite a fight for the uh, Olive Garden gift card there, going all the way to eight points. You can, I, I'm sure. 
uh, Jacob was like, oh my gosh, I'm about to lose <laughs> it's like, it. How is this about to happen Saw right that now? pie roar flip over and was like, Ooh, oh no. Because what did they have, the Meryl, I think? Was that the first pack? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, yep, yep, you're right. All right, next up we have our final contender though for Rookie of the Day. It is Methy. Uh, they are trying to beat 10 points here. They're from Denmark and collects Lego. And they're favorite of the Harry Potter sets. Oh man, how fun. And I was just looking at Harry Potter Legos the other day because I want to put up like a Christmas display. Oh yeah. When the holidays come, I just had new shelves put into my house and I'm like, this is this is the spot. This is the spot. This yeah. is if you're going to do it do anywhere. Do I want to build it out of Legos or do I want to do it, uh, you know, just buy pre-made houses or something? I don't know. Lego sounds like possibly the way to go. The giraffe rig, the relore, the graffiti eye will score, the pink curtain will not, the Zwilus will, the Quaxwell does not, the Diana's worth two points, and the low kicks is worth one. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five points. Uh, you put up a lot of scoring cards, but did not manage to steal the Olive Garden gift card away from Jacob, who's gonna take it home with 10 points there. Well done, well done. What a battle for rookie of the day. It's not normally so close. I know, especially at that level. Right? All right, next up is Shauna, who has eight points on the season. All right. They have Shana. music playing almost constantly. Almost constantly. Almost I, constantly. You know, this was something that I feel like I never did until I met my wife, Alice, and she's huge. Like, the first thing she does in the morning when we go downstairs is like have the like Alexa turn on music. Yeah. And so it's like, there's always music going on while she's home. And then a lot of times she'll play it for the dogs while we're gone all day. Oh. We got the Knackley, the Nimble, the Wrong, wrong Shinks. Shinks, the Rookity, the Palmo, the Tinka Tough, the Bravery Charm, the Dendra will not score, the Meryl will not score, although we've had scoring versions of both of them. Yeah, we today. have. Oh, What's the Chim Pao. Pao! There we go. Man, so Chim Pao is what the Backscalibur pairs with uh, so nicely, but I, I'm betting this version is not got a ton of points on it. It's not on. bad, oh, it's actually. Not bad. Look at that, $7.12. Oh. actually round up to eight points I overall. Stand corrected. Back-to-back -back weeks for Shauna hitting eight points, bringing them to a 16-point total. It's going to be... Uh, tied with Wilhelmina there for About what seventh? eighth place? Our eighth place, you are well, correct. Yeah, yep. you, so you are presently in the quality eighth place spot. Not a bad place to be. And because this was <clears throat> like all value, like you weren't getting it from like a bunch of different places, if it comes down to a tie, that's a good card to that have. That is a good hand. card to card, yeah, because it'll be um, a good tiebreaker card as well. So yes, exactly. If you land in eighth place, in an eighth place tie at the end of the season. All right, next up, we've got uh, Rob Rangoon who has got five points on the season. They set up their nerd room to look like the SCB set. That's no the, that's way, so that's fun. awesome. Man, well that's cool. Ours was initially inspired by Philip DeFranco. It was, the blue wall with the couch the in the wall, back. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah. the couch we got for free. Oh, and here we go with the type advantage. Oh, and the chase card right away. Oh my that gosh. That is amazing. Yeah, yeah that, that All right, is. We're gonna have to do funny math now, but here we go. The Magikarp, the Slowpoke, the Litleo, the Skip Bloom, the Dendra, the Palo Saint. Oh, is it second Slowpoke? Uh oh, oh, Ben. We have got a critical oh. hit and a type advantage going on in the same pack. So that's a 4X, right? That is a 4X multiplier. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, the what weird math. And, the and the Skeleton GX. Oh man. Oh okay, gosh. okay, let's see. Number 37. So that's only worth a single point. Oh otherwise. no. Look okay, but so, so this one's going to be worth usually just two points. Points, right? Yeah. One for the chase card, one for being dark. So that's yep. two, two, three times four is 12. 12, the most miraculous 12 we've ever man, seen. Man, that's awesome. The four times multiplier reappears. How oh, exciting. Man, that is so exciting. That is so exciting. I know. I so I, I, have we had up to eight times? I we have, I yeah. That, uh, the Carly. leader Carly did get the eight times multiplier because they got the they got the critical hit on the energies. Which also <laughs> One of which was be, gold. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and it was the type advantage. Yeah, right. So that was that was pretty wild when that happened. All right, next up is uh, Chris. Chris. Just Chris. Just Chris. Chris has three points thus far on the season. Is it me? I think it's you. I don't know. I'll do it. You I'll do, do it. it. All right. Yeah. All right, Chris. Let's see what we got here for you. Oh, Chris is training for his first marathon. Probably. Ben ran one of those. I did. I did. A fun fact that people have now heard about me probably fairly repetitively on this show. Probably in thanks to Chris. I wonder if people can see your tattoo while you're doing all this hand stuff there. Ben got a new tattoo. I did get a new tattoo. There it is. You can see it. Um, well, let's see here. We got the Frigid Backs, the Tandem Mouse, the Satoddle, the Knackley, the Knackle Stack, the Corvusquire, the Jet Energy, the Voltorb does not score, the Fletchinder does not score, and the Tinkaton. Tinkaton will score for just a single 
point there, unfortunately. So I'm gonna bring you to four on the season, sort of swimming around towards the bottom there. Just kind of hope for sort of a big pull in your final pack. All right, we're getting down to the final, I think five packs of the day here. There we go. Like Bubsy. Up. We've got Bubsy. All right, let's see a Bubs. We've got four points to start with. Can we capitalize here and make a big push? Bubsy had a big, strong showing back in season four. Yeah. The single pack season with 25 points, so. All right, here we go. Rockruff, Palmy, Larvitar, Sandygast, Raichu, Gothitel, Arctabax. The Palmo does not score, the Tandem Mouse does not score, and the Cerulege does so. Unfortunately, not making a big impact today. Just giving that single point Cerulege for a total of five on the season. The Cerulege looks cool, though. I it is a really cool guy. looking Pokemon. He's got swords for hands, which is my favorite kind of way to be a Pokemon. All right, next up is Narwhal King, if they even exist. Who's to say? Yeah. National Geographic, possibly just lying to us this whole time. This whole time. It's just a bunch of Pokemon. Narwhal? That sounds like what you'd name a Pokemon whale with a horn. Okay. It does. It does seem it's not like even spelled Narwhale. Oh, we got the dark teardrop energy there right off the oh, front. Oh, wow. So Here we go. Narwhal King has got the type advantage. We got the we got the Pikachu, the Slackoff, the Watchroll, the Fuecoco, the Gotharita, the Honchcrow, the Pseudowoodo, the Pincursion will not score, the Arctabax will not score, and the Rabsco. Rabsco. Oh, man. Unfortunately. Oh, wait. The Honchcrow scored. Oh, you are correct. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, wow. Good Almost. save. Good save. So four points. So four points, right? One, two times two is four. Yep. Oh my gosh. Well, that's a good save because we almost went from one or from two points to four. So yeah. you actually doubled there in the end so there due, you go. due to my own error. Yeah. Narwhal's up at 10 points now for the season. So they're in pretty good striking distance for uh, Big Steve, I suppose. Yeah. It's high with Justin H, Aaron B, Tex, and Margo, or I think at least coming into the day. Margo had a big day already, though. That's true. All right. Next up, we have uh, Jacob Virginus or Virginus. It's like the drink. It's like the drink. Gin or Guinness. We're gonna make this joke every time. Every single time. Yeah. Without fail. Without fail. You can take it up with Cat. Next up is the fireball energy. The There's magic the magic harp. It's so many it's us. taunting us. Someone's getting the magic harp at some point, right? They have to. The Slowpoke, the Litleo, the Rockruff, the Dunsparce, the Pupitar, the Faulkner, the, oh, the Iono, Iono scores. There we go, and a reverse hollow version. Tinkatuff does not, and the Palmot. So just score. three points. Three hard fought points, bringing it up to five on the season for Virginus. There we go. There Congratulations, Virginus. All right, we've got two packs left. Next up is Megan. Megan. They've got 12 points so far on the season, so I started out pretty solid. <clears throat> Let's see, they have started the day in 12th place. They've probably moved down a little as other people have scored ahead of them here. Uh, but they would be looking for like what? Uh, maybe like a quality eighth place kind of finish here? Totally possible. We got a very poorly cut. Uh, oh yeah, look at that energy. bad, yeah, yeah, poor cut. Enjoy that. I've got the Fue Coco, the Watchroll, the Tinka Tink, the Shrewdle Shrewdle scores. Score, the Fighting All-A, the, the Moss, the Scores, Quaxwell, the Magic Arm mm. again taunting us, the Char Cadet will not score, uh, and the, the Sableye will points, be worth so. two points. So four one, points two, three, total. Four. 16 on the season. Not a bad place to be again. It's going to be uh, coming in steady. That would have been tied for eighth place. Uh, yeah, you're right. That's crazy. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Starting to see, the, see that board fill up real quick. I know, right? As everyone prepares for their final... Pack. All right, next up we have Lacey, who has only pulled, or well, let's see. Um, in, back in season four, Crown Zenith, they had a 90 point single pack. Incredible. Crazy Incredible. Pack. That's a big, big, big pull. Also, it, it does remind me that in the month of October, we'll be having our next one month season doing the 151 set. I think it's gonna be super, super cool. Um, all the original 151 Pokemon from Bulbasaur through Pikachu. No, Bulbasaur nice. through Pikachu. <laughs> Bulbasaur through Pikachu. Bulbasaur 25 through, uh, Pokemon. Yes, Bulbasaur through Mew, uh, rather. There we go, yep. All right, so let's see, we've uh, got, oh no, no I didn't back. Backwards. Oh, no, oh, you know what? Dear. Maybe it's maybe it's the maybe it's the magic carp, you know? There you go. Anyway, two points for the Tyranitar, my bad. Quaxley, the Tinkatink, the Pincurchin, the Makuhita, the Mousehold, the Satitan, the Corviknight, the Rock Rough, and uh, the Gothita. Oh man, sorry about that. So double check, no extra scoring points, just the Tyranitar for two. Man, to finish you... out the day, Lacey gets five points. I don't think we got a single Bramble Gas the whole day. I don't think we did on a single Bramble Gas, and maybe only one Shinx. 
Yeah, I so mean, not, not a great showing from the randomly chosen common Jace cards. Not the dark teardrop all. did do better than we could have asked it for. It did. We had like, like four type advantages in yes. there, I think. That was Showed a lot. up in spades. So lots of lots of really cool stuff. We had the uh, the gold water energy come through today. Yes, so we did. Some neat, uh, the Meryl. What else do we have the in there? The Dendra, the Pyroar. All those, all of those. These, yeah. are other, these are other cards so that we have things that happen. today. But episode. still lurking somewhere, hopefully, is the Magikarp, which we have not pulled yet. I know, this is always one of those things where we have all the boxes here in office and it always occurs to me that it's like, it could just be sitting in one of them. It's in our office. Right, right like now. it's here, it's yeah. here. Surely. Gotta be. It must be. Yeah. It's gonna be so exciting if and when we pull it. Uh, guys, as ever, we have been sold out over on the Patreon for a while. There might be a couple of spaces available coming up in the next week or so if you'd like to keep an eye out for that. Uh, if it does happen to be sold out, we do have a wait list uh, link that is in the description of the video down below. But otherwise, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!